After six months of construction, the fourth building at the VRE Innovation Park at Ravenscraig was officially opened by Angela Constance, Cabinet Secretary for Training, Youth and Women's Employment on the 21st of May 2014. The BRE refurbished house showcases retrofit solutions and technologies that are designed to help address the challenges presented by Scotland's ageing housing stock. BRE thought it was very important to address retrofit at the Innovation Park at Ravenscraig as the majority of the housing stock in Scotland is already in existence. We replenish our housing stock at a rate of less than 1% per year, so if you're being serious about tackling carbon emission reductions, then we have to have a very strong focus on refurbishment and the skills, materials, technologies and approaches that, that can really provide some benefit through the existing housing stock. Derived from a European research project, Iraco Build, the BRE refurbished house was designed, developed and constructed with input from a number of partners. In addition to lead partner BRE, were research partners Edinburgh Napier University and Historic Scotland, and industry partners including Cruden Building and Renewals and Craft Architecture. Working together, the project team have recreated a traditional four-in-a-block building, allowing them to test a range of retrofitting options. This building is a very, very common typology, both in the east and west of Scotland. Um, the four, it's called a four-in-a-block type. Um, and it represents buildings that were built in interwar period that are quite difficult to, to upgrade. And this building will give us an opportunity to show how you might do that in reality. Some of the main differences between the flats um, are probably most pronounced between the ground floor flats and the upper floor flats. The upper floor flats have a lot more opportunity for renewables. And in this case, we've used uh, solar vol photovoltaics and also solar thermal in the upper flats. And the ground floor flats, um, we've demonstrated things like underfloor heating. Um, and these are the main differences that we've been able to demonstrate in this building. What we were keen to do at the outset was to have the technology working with us rather than being dictated to by the technology. So what we didn't want is people come along saying, I've got a great product, I want you to put it in. What we wanted to do was to structure each of the four apartments to say, what is the best available technology fit to go into that with bearing in mind the restrictions that we're setting. So we're setting artificial restrictions like the one we're in at the moment is the least upgrade so it's based on an occupied flat. How do we get that level of upgrade done by introducing the technology in such a way that's as undisruptive as possible? Uh, right through to the top right hand flat here, which is basically a void flat that you can go in and do whatever you want to. So we've gone to town in the one upstairs, so we've, uh, we want to then see the difference between that flat and this flat. Look at the value, look at the cost of doing it, look at the benefits you get out of it. One of the four apartments was retrofitted in consultation with the team at Historic Scotland. As well as looking after some of the better known things like castles and monuments and standing stones, um, Historic Scotland does have a remit to take an interest in the energy efficiency of all older properties. Uh, the focus has recently been pre-1919 properties, traditionally built, solid walls, etc. But actually we've now moving on further on in, in, in the sort of time space to the interwar social housing of which the four in the block is a, is a very common example and a very popular house type in Scotland to this day and uh, they're becoming quite old themselves, they're design, well designed by some quite well known architects, quite an important bit of Scotland's uh, social and, and cultural and building history and we felt that to maintain the, the amenity and the feel of these properties <coughs> uh, we wanted to get involved in in, in appropriate upgrade measures for a property of this type. The interior of one of the apartments was designed and fitted out by partners IKEA using their range of sustainable products. In addition to the house itself, the project team have also created an app called BRE Retrofit Lab that allows industry to test different approaches to retrofitting this type of housing. When we were designing the refurbishment solutions for the four in a block building on the park, we could only physically construct four potential solutions. When we were going through the design process, we were able to identify another 20, 25 different viable solutions for that. What we've managed to do is then capture that information within an app. It's quite a simple app. It works um, in a, a very intuitive way and it allows the user to select different materials, different products. So if you have a fixed budget um, per apartment, then you can quite quickly come to the best solution 
uh, for the budget that you have available. The BRE Refurbished House offers an exciting look to the future, offering inspiration and knowledge to help the construction industry meet the challenges ahead. One of the most important things is that a project like this gives us an opportunity that we don't often have and that is to monitor the performance of these houses and we would never get the opportunity to refurbish four dwellings differently and then be able to compare them. So this is a unique opportunity to do that and it's one from which we can learn and that's really, really important because we have a lot of case study material in refurbished buildings but not many of them actually see the project right through to how it performs when people are living in it. As an academic, uh, we strive to progress some of the technology, some of the, the knowledge that we have into practice and this is a practical application that really shows great benefit, allowing us to articulate the findings through the 260,000 homes of this nature throughout Scotland and the wider post-war construction sector. I think it's important that we don't just see this as a one-off model that's launched today and that's us finished. It's important that everything we learn from this model is put out there so people can understand, see the benefits, see the things to do, things not to do and see how we can achieve betterment from our existing stock. The final message to industry in relation to this project is that tackling retrofit refurbishment at scale has got some real economic and performance benefits to Scotland and to Scotland's housing stock. When you look at the carbon emission reduction targets that we have, when you look at the fuel poverty projections that we have, then investing in Scotland's housing stock and in the people of Scotland is something that BRE through this project is very much encouraging.